Hello and welcome back to MC Eternal, where in this episode we will be continuing kind of from where we left off in the last episode. I've done a bunch of stuff off camera, but we're kind of going in the same direction. If you did do not recall, or in case you did not watch the last episode, let's just get over here. Uh, in the last episode, we, let me use my passageway, we built this to pump oil. And we've actually already started pumping some oil into this ender tank right here that is now currently full and the pump is now currently off. We can control it by this handy lever. Um, but anyways, into this... Okay. In this episode, we will be making a power plant and also, I hope, if we can get so so far in this episode, uh, some essential uh, blocks... I don't know, machines that I want to start using and get so things will get a little bit uh, easier for us. What I did do off camera was, well, a bunch of research, which I'll get into, and also I, um, I expanded the base, as you can see, uh, to, well, right here. And on the other side of this, actually, let me just bridge up, you can hear there's water, um, but there's this lovely lake here, and I just absolutely love it. I, I just could not just remove it. I had to leave it here. Maybe we'll do something cool with it in the future. Um, there's also a water source right there, which I left because I think I might do something cool with it. I'm not sure yet. Um, and I'm thinking we will probably expand down with an elevator or something like that. But this is my place for my bed so far. So far. I also did make a very crazy weird looking pickaxe here um, from Tinker's Construct. And I'll tell you real quickly what it is. Uh, the level is clumsy apparently, um, and you, yeah, you can basically see what it has. And I believe the head of this thing is uh, maniolin pickaxe head right there, and we have hard carbon tool rod and a slime binding. I tried to get it to the highest durability. Also, it does not have any more modifiers on it. I added some uh, redstone modifier. I added. Uh, Mozzy modifier and I added diamond modifier. Uh, diamond makes it more durable and the redstone increases the mining speed and the diamond, wait, I already covered the diamond, the enchanted, I believe it's called the enchanted moss, if I remember correctly, maybe, moss, marsh, moss, mending moss, sorry, it basically acts like mending. So that is my pickaxe for the day, um, and hopefully for quite a while. Anyways, that is what I've done off camera and a bunch of research because I wanted to, I want basically to get as much out of the oil that we're pumping as possible, aka as much as as much power as we can possibly get out of this thing. Um, so I did a bunch of research. I really wanted to go with the build craft power method, but it just does not generate as much as if we use thermal expansion, machinery, and oil processing methods. Um, so that is what we will be going with. Also, the Billcraft one was extremely complicated to my brain, so we will not be doing that. <laughs> Anyways, this is all the stuff that I want to get done uh, in this episode. Maybe not this, I'm not sure yet. Um, and I'll explain all of this stuff uh, once we're actually done. I already made those two ingots. So how about we zoom back home and start a bunch of crafting because we are going to need a bunch of stuff before we can actually get to here. Uh, it should be relatively quickly and easy and I'll cut out uh, a bunch of the crafting. Um, so how about we just grab a bunch of essential ingots and materials. We'll need tin, we'll need copper. Uh, I'm also going to grab the silver because we're going to need silver. We're going to need nickel. We're going to need gold. We're going to need Redstone, we're gonna need constant. Uh, I believe that that is it. Uh, we will actually be needing some lead. Do I have any processed lead here? Do I have any lead? I only have the lead ore. All right, so while we just do a bunch of crafting, we'll go down to the smeltery and just smell the lead ore right there. And it's going to night time. Wonderful. Uh, yes, let us get to crafting a bunch of stuff. So, what we will be needing is, for the oil, let's start there. We will need the fractionating still. And we will need two of those. 
because this refines fluids into other products. This is a crafting recipe. The reason why I want this is if we take a look here, our crude oil is the cool, the cool, cold, cool, the cool, cold, cru, blah, 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 what a mouthful. The crude oil that we pump up is cool. So let's take a look at that. So in here, the fractionating still, we can see that 200 micro buckets, micro buckets, mega buckets, I don't know, MB can get turned into 150 MB of naphtha. Now this in of itself can be used in a compression dynamo, which is the thermal expansion power generating block. Um, and it seems that 1000 MB, which I believe, I don't know how much this is to be honest with you. I'm not sure how much this is, can result in one or will result in 1 million RF. But if you put the naphtha into another fract Fractionating still, you can actually get refined fuel from Thermic Foundation. And what that will basically do is it will give us 1,500,000. So that is quite a lot, isn't it? The only thing is from 150, we get 100. So in total, we lose 100 refined fuel in this process. Now, there is a way of maximizing the output from the oil to the naphtha. Oh, sorry, I think the one with we losing 100 refined fuel, I'm not sure if that calculation is correct. But either way, if we have the reflux column upgrade, you can see that 200 equals to 200 naphtha. And if we have the reflux column again, 150 results to 150. So basically no loss whatsoever. The thing with this is some pretty uh, advanced stuff. That is what the simple alloy smelter is for. But don't worry, we'll get to that later down the road. Right now, we just want this thing made. So let us get started, shall we? Uh, I'm going to make a bunch of like, well, we're going to need two of this. Um... Let me know, by the way, do you like watching the crafting or do you just want the crafting off? Kind of, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Uh, we'll need four of those. And let me right away uh, just convert all of these into their ingots. Okay, so we'll need that. We need... Recipe is too large for... Sorry. All right, get that in here. We'll need two of these. And machine frame. We have the glass. I just need this. And the glass is in my backpack. And so, this and this give us two, sweet, and boom, we have two of those. Perfect. Now, there is one annoying bit, because thermal expansion is in the quests, but before we can actually get started and get stuff out of the quests here, um, we would need to make a steam dynamo, and then, first off, what I'm making, the machine I'm making right now is not even in this uh, tree here, but a bunch of other stuff is. But I would need to make each and every one of these like stuff. So I would need to, so this energy cell, for example, we will be making that today. So I would need to go from steam dynamo to the less flux stuff, to the pulverizer, to the furnace, to the induction smelter, to the igneous extruder, to the hardened flux duct, and all the way over to the energy cell. Uh, yeah, big oof. Also, the compression dynamo is what we will be making today. We will not even be using... Maybe we'll be using the steam dynamo if we need some star, some no, some power to begin with. But I'm not sure if we will need that. We might, so I might need to make it. But we will not be making these before we make this, if that makes sense. So that's a bit of eh, annoying. Anyways, doing good so far. I'm not sure how many of these flucked up. These are the thermal, thermal dynamics. Um, fluid pipes, if you will. Uh, and I just like to use these. Uh, I think maybe 18 will be enough. 24. Uh, we'll start there. We can always make some more. All right. Uh, so that's that. I also do want to actually make uh, a couple of these build craft tanks. I just like how they look. And I just want... I'll show you what I need them for, or what to use them for later. Um, 
Okay, so that is that. Now we need the aqueous, aqueous accumulator. This can basically get water. Um, and we need this to cool down the compression dynamo. As you can see here, requires fluid, fuel, and coolant. So we need the, f the we need the coolant basically. Uh, so we need two of these, and we need four of these, and we need device frame. So we need uh, two. Yoink, yoink. Two of those. So the device frame. We need two of those and the bucket. I suppose one, two. Boom, boom. And two, uh, did we need two? I think I just did a mistake. I think I only need one, but you know what? It's fine. We have two. I think I only need one. Also, I don't think these require power either. So that is cool. Um, but hey, we'll need one later in the future at some point. So that's that done. And we need the compression dynamo to actually make the power, right? So let's get that made as well. So we need the transmission coil, which requires silver. And so we need how many of these am I gonna make? Uh, I think I'm gonna make two compression dynamos to begin with. Um, and then we'll see what the need will be later down the road. Alright, and then some of the Oh, yeah, the lead. Uh, eh, it's safe enough, maybe, if this piece candle thing works. <laughs> Which I hope it does. Alright. Uh, what do we have here? One block. Cool. Let's get that out of there. And got it. Cool. Uh, how many ingots do we have left? Three. Let me just get those real quick so it's not just laying around here. Also, it's night time, but... There's so much bird life in the ambience. Pretty sure the birds are asleep at night. <laughs> Alright. Either way, moving on, uh, let's make the quick redstone flux. That, this is basically power cables. Uh, I think I'm making 12 of those. And while I suppose while we're at it, uh, let's make the energy cell. It should, oh wait, Electrum. Uh, how do we get Electrum? Molten gold and silver. Do I have Electrum in here? Do I have Electrum? Uh, electrical steel. I do not have Electrum, actually. Um, oh dear. Do I need it for anything else? I think I just need one ingot. Should be able to make it real easy if we just look at alloy. One molten gold and one molten silver. I should be able to do that. Uh, gold ore, and I do not have any more silver ore. But I suppose then I'll just use... Okay, so I guess one gold ingot and one silver ingot into the smelter that will then make uh, two that will then make two electrum ingots I think yep two ingots of molten electrum sweet we just need one and we can make the what was it again redstone conductant coil thingy thing all right very very cool let us continue the crafting. Alright, uh, where were we? Okay, so that was that. We need this, so a lead gear. And we need this. Just need one. And, oh, I need a block of redstone, huh? I have that right here. And we should be able to... Boom. This can store 2 million RF, and we can, I believe, upgrade this. Uh, with upgrade kits, and I believe if we upgrade it like that, then we will upgrade the capacity, and I will suppose also the send and receive, um, how much it can send and receive. All right, uh, I'm gonna keep like redstone, glass, copper, uh, and stuff like that on me, so I can make things on the fly. And then, how about we go ahead and set things up? All right, we are back here. Now to design this place. Uh, so first off, we need to set a system up for, just gonna do that for now, uh, to handle the oil, of course. So we'll need that. We will need the fluid pipe and the tanks. So first off, I just want some of the oil to get out into this tank right here. So placing it like so. 
Uh, do I really need? Oh, I might need. It does not output automatically. I don't need this extra. I just it's just me that likes to see this. <laughs> um, I need a servo. I need a servo. Ugh. Going one back home. All right, I have made two, and I hope it will be enough. I'm not sure if it will, but I really hope it will be. I think it should. I do think it should. I hope it does. And does this then need a redstone? Not there. How do I... Eh? Get rid of that. I have not made a wrench. Give me that right there. Yeah, I believe that needs a redstone. Can I just... <laughs> Keep things simple here. Can I just do something like that? Hello? Oh! Oh. Oh, so the orange is not output. The blue is? Okay. Um. Hmm. Well then, alright. Uh, so, moving on from that weird uh, scenario. We're gonna place the fact stationing still right here. And we're gonna go into configuration and stop that. Now, there is one little annoying thing, and that is that we might get a byproduct. Also, this requires power, so we do need the steam turbine thing thing to get started. But first off, we will be accepting fluid from the right. So this is right here, and then we will be outputting to the left, forward to this guy right here. And he will then be receiving and outputting, and then... Uh, I think we'll just do. I think we'll do something like that, because I don't think we want the naphtha. Is that how it's called? Naphtha. Uh, I don't think that I want the naphtha for anything else. Looking in here, uh, I don't think so. No. All right. So I don't want to store it for something else. So do that. And that seems to require um, some power. I do believe we can set these to ignore. Uh, can they like output? Mm hmm. What? Products may or may not be drinkable. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, so I think what I then need is just a simple lever. And this, yes. Oh, this, did that just turn? Okay, so this now has oil. And I think this might, I think this should output automatically. So this basically needs power. So I need a steam dynamo. Can I make that right here on the fly? Need to get back home and make that then. All right, I'll do that. Oh, Okay, gonna use more of my experience then. Yoink. Pretty sure I heard something weird outside. Pretty sure it could just be been ambience, it could have been something else. Hmm. Looks like we're clear. <laughs> Alright, but before we actually start this, I think I would like to then get the power started because well the power system set up in a way so if this is the fuel that will then get to around over here probably all right so i think the way i want to do this they need two input pipes and one output place so if we take um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well i just want to make sure that i don't mess something up so i think i might want the wrench which one of these? Oh uh, dear. Wait, thermal expansion does have a wrench. Of course, I need the tin for that. It's just because I don't remember which. I, I feel like there's a mod where if you break a machine, it turns into other parts. I'm not sure. I just don't want that to happen. Um, but if we start placing these two down right here, it also just allows us. Yeah, it allows us to just pop them off like so. Uh, I think moving them back one more will do good. Um, and then I think, 
needing the yeah one more there we go that'll that'll be fine give me my fluid dots so we will run it from here and we can also make it not do that into there so the fuel will then run into here and then split between them which is what I want now uh, we want them to have cool it, so I'm thinking we will have that over here as well. Which means we need to mine out this, this, and then do something like, oh dear, lag. Something like that. And then make it not connect. And then we will have the one acres accumulator right here. And we will need a block right there. I'll tidy this place up. Don't worry. And night time. And we can work in the night, right? We're not scared. We're not scared. Maybe I'm a bit scared. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so the back should be right there. Correct? Yes, that is correct. Cool. So that will output water that way. We just need to make it actually work. And for that, we will do that. And it should. Yep, it's making water, and it is putting them into putting it into the compression dynamos. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, cool. It's filling up. Nice. So now we can also put some facades here as well. Um, let me think. Yeah, I think we'll leave it as that. Then what will happen is we will then have the lead stone and the energy cell. I'm gonna plot the energy cell. Right, when was the, let me get to Y level, 100, and oh, minus, or C level, 100, and there, right here. I think I want the battery to be right there. And configuration, input from the front. Uh, I don't like it inputting on the front. We'll input it on the back. There we go. Something like this. How's the night? Not creepy at all. All right. Then we take these and we plop them on top of each other. And uh, lead them up. And then they go like this. And that should then generate power eventually once they actually have the finished fuel. But before we can do that, we need to set up this. And I have, okay, that's just water. <laughs> uh, I think I can turn it, facing that, yep. And that will require water, it will require a bit of coal, and again, water. And that should then, it should generate power, it is. And we should be making naphtha. Now, I need some of this power to swing back around for these machines. Otherwise, things are not going to work out very well. So that is an issue that we will run into. Um, so we need to redirect some of the power back to these machines. All right, so this machine now has naphtha, but of course it is missing power. And of course we are making tar as well. Uh, what I could do, I could just set up some steam dynamos behind them. But that would, of course, require coal. But I do have quite a bit of it. Uh, so we could do that temporarily. But I think getting the power back to them will be better. Hmm. Alright, so I simply do not have enough um, lead to be able to make enough cables to go around to feed these... Uh, guys again uh, So what we will be doing for now is just to use some steam dynamos right here It will power the two machines as you can see this one has naphtha that will then generate refined fuel and then on a later date I'll then replace these uh, With this I do not have any more lead right now unfortunately, so I cannot make uh, What I want to make also. I don't want to make too much fuel until I can actually make this um, But this looks a bit interesting and I don't know how on earth to get grains of infinity. <laughs> uh, 
there must be a way to make, um, basically what I want is, oh wait, hardened glass, I can use any glass? Then I don't need that. Oh, stop production, uh, okay. All right, so apparently, okay, so basically what I need, I was confused, um, I need this augment, and I thought you need, needed fused quartz, or, yeah, I got it confused. Basically, you can use hardened glass in this recipe, and you should be able to pour molten lead on top of obsidian? Okay, so that recipe does not work. I need an induction smelter to do that. Uh, so yeah, that that is just not doable for us right now. But we are now completed. And that was like 20, 25 minutes, not too bad of an episode. And boom, we're generating power. We're generating power right here. We're generating power, boys. This is so cool. Now, I was hoping to also get a couple of machines going today. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have the lead I need. So I need to do some mining off camera. And so, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to shiny this place up. Going to make it look nice and homey. Um, and they both have refined fuel. Sweet. I'm going to make this look cool. And I'm going to do so a bunch of mining so that we have resources. And then in the next episode, we will set up the basic machines that we will be needing at this point in time. But before we finish here, let's uh, collect our rewards. Googly eyes. Okay. Uh, sure. It was accumulator. Pizza slice. I could use a pizza. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. All right. And... Yeah, purple rice and stuff like that is what something we will be making in the next episode. Uh, is that something I can take on? Uh, it's a cosmetic from Botania. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> okay then. Um, not sure what on earth it does. But okay, uh, that's interesting. I'll keep my helmet on and I'll eat this pizza slice at another time. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. I really, really hope you enjoyed. And I hope... Hold on. This redstone thing is conflicting with the ender tank. That's interesting. I had to turn it around, so... Oh yeah, so... This thing apparently gets activated by redstone, so it flipped around. That's what happened back then. Also, we need to figure out what to do with the sulfur and the tar. We will handle that in the next episode. But yes, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.